Hello guys, it's Okwon, Julian, and uh, here we are today for a new video where we are going to discuss about Solana, Airdrops, and uh, Jupiter. So many of you ask me to do more like content, Solana-based content, I would say, just for you to get to have my, my, my view about Solana ecosystem and everything uh, surrounding Solana. So today we are going to discuss about Jupiter Airdrops, the logic of like farming Airdrops, and where do I think about what's going next for Solana, for Jupiter, and everything. So First thing, um, let's get back to Uniswap. Uniswap is the biggest DEX on Ethereum and like of, on all, like I would say, uh, Ethereum on the, on the Ethereum ecosystem. So it's not really um, uh, something similar than uh, Jupiter because Jupiter is an aggregator, an aggregator like one inch or Paraswap, but still um, I think it's, it's good to have like the view of like uh, Uniswap. So Uniswap is one of the blue chip protocols on Ethereum. Uh, uh, unfortunately, since it's not a security, uh, you don't have like anything linked between the fees made by Uniswap and the tokens itself, which is a bit of shame. Uh, and perhaps it will change in 2024, but I doubt it. So for now, Uniswap is more like something like DAO, DAO based, something like that. Um, but still, the market cap is at 4 billion. So really, really, these DAP are one of the biggest like in um, on the on the Ethereum ecosystem. And that's why uh, DEXIS will be super big on Solana and Solana will keep growing. So. Um, uh, let me present you about, uh, let me present you Jupiter, but before that, let's discuss a bit about airdrops. So airdrops are a way to uh, incentivize users to use a new application and then they just like um, airdrop these tokens to the uh, user participants. So depending how early you use the protocol with what volumes and everything, you are able to get as much tokens uh, as possible, or like it's a way to rank you. So always keep in mind that when you are doing it, you are ranked between uh, different user using the the the, 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 the app. Uh, I think a cool website is to go on Solana uh, on DeFi Lana just to look at all the biggest by TVL total value lock like protocols and just have an idea and go test them all. Uh, and why not after that build up strategies to be a bit more aggressive regarding farming airdrops. Um, so I have I had I received uh, of course it's, everything I'm saying is not financial advice. Do your own research. Uh, please use a specific wallet for airdrops. Um, where you know that you will have to interact with more protocols and so your risk is a bit higher. Be super cautious when you look at websites. Let's say you want to go to Jito. Um, always use links that are from the, the, the like these kind of like websites and double check the links from two sources to make sure you, you don't connect to like a, a malicious website, I would say. Um, so Jupyter is a, is, a, is, a, is a super big, um, is a super big like application that on Solana. Uh, it did like uh, 60 billion, 16 billion volumes on December 2024. So of course, a massive growth due to basically people farming the airdrop. But still, um, I think it's here to stay, and it's one of the best decentralized application I have used in crypto by far, and I will explain why. Um, so just to finish about uh, airdrops, I think it's something super important, something to look at, especially if you have below six, six figures in crypto. So if you have less than $1,000 in crypto, you should definitely spend a lot of time doing airdrops. Um, it's a way also to, to, to learn, to test more things and really to like um, become a wiser investor because you know the value of a protocol by using it. I think you have a common sense that is super important. Of course, also 2024 will be a super good year for Solana ecosystem and many airdrops will be uh, given. Um, and that's why you want to be super proactive and you want to do things on chain to be able to be eligible to these airdrops. Um, so perhaps before like diving into Jupiter, a few things we can check uh, together. The first thing is that uh, you have these websites. I think I will make, I will add this website in, in the description where you can just copy pasting your wallet. So let's see, I'm, I'm on Phantom. So I have done a dedicated for, uh, wallet for this um, I would say video. So here on Phantom, um, you can check the eligibility of your um, of your of, of this wallet. So here it's a new one, so I'm eligible to nothing. But for example, on previous wallet, I've seen that I was eligible to PIF and one to Jito, and I was not like aware of it. So it, this website is super cool to go and so go check all your wallets. I think you can you don't miss like few thousand dollars. Uh, uh, because these are free money somehow, and it's a way like even though you don't like the the the, 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 the DAP, just swap it back to if you, to Solana or to another ecosystem, and and, and that's it. Uh, and you have also like the uh, airdrop uh, .jupiter .agrator 
uh, the official link where you can check uh, your eligibility to Jupyter. So on my end, I have think I will be able to claim a bit more than 5,000 uh, Jupyter. So no idea what would be worth in terms of dollars, but I think Jupyter could uh, really perform well. We'll see. I don't want to disclose uh, key uh, figures and like incentive you to uh, to degen. Um, now let's net, now let's 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 test um, a bit Jupyter. So we are on Jupyter. I'm using a new wallet. When you are using a new wallet, make sure you don't lose the private key whatsoever, and you are able to access the wallet from like another laptop or anything, or you have someone else being able to access it, someone you trust, or you know find find you find your own thing that works for you. But we are here on, on Jupyter. So we had like few the, the, the airdrop was split in five phases. We are at the third phases, I think. So some uh, actions are less rewarding than other ones. Um, that's that's something super important to, to have in mind. Um, but let's say we will start off by doing a swap of, let's say we want to buy, okay, let's say some bonk. So bonk really uh, uh, retraced quite a lot. And so we want to buy some bonk. So $25 of bonk, we swap it. So you will see also how, okay, let me put my head here. <laughs> you will see how powerful is Solana. Uh, so you swap it, you click, always check what you are doing. So of course the fees are super, super low, below one cent, up, a swap done. And then you can check the transaction on chain, of course. I think it's also important to uh, do some research also like on trying to understand what's going on here, um, what's what happening here um, for you to like have a better idea of like how is it working behind the scene. So it's a basic default swap. Then what we can do is say, okay, now I want to uh, sell my bank uh, when it gets back to, let's say, this figure. So 0. Point, uh, let's say 2.5. Let's not be too greedy. Okay, so, so okay, 2.8. So it's 6% above our current price. So I'm putting all the bank and you will see like I will get back. If uh, the price goes back to here, it will, um, uh, my, my orders will pass and then I will make a profit of $1.39. So I place the, the limit swap, so I don't put any expiry. Um, I, hop, and so I have like a limit orders made on chain. So um, so first thing you can see here, it's pretty insane, right? If we compare to like um, to, to like uh, Uniswap, Paraswap, one inch, like it's so fast, so cheap. Uh, that's crazy. So you can do many things, honestly, like, um, if you are really scared about centralized exchanges and so on, you can perhaps use Jupyter a bit more often to do your things here. And that's that's something you have in mind. So we tried the swap. So basically just swapping one crypto to another one. Limit orders now, we can start trying DCA. So now let's say I have USDT and I want to start DCA into Solana. Let's say $25 again. Um, so for me, it's, it's less, I see it less as a DCA, but more as a, a TWAP, so time-weighted average price. So basically the idea is like, I would try to enter a position by uh, um, having like a better entry price. Like for example, yesterday we had a big dump and I, I used uh, Jupiter to enter like on Ethereum with like every like, let's say um, five minutes. So every five minutes uh, in like one hour, I want to execute 10 orders, blah, blah, blah. And then it will do the, the, the whole thing. So here it will be like over seven minutes, you will do uh, uh, as many swap. And so if you do $25, it will be like orders of 3.7 because like 3.57 multiplied by seven will do the, the thing, $25. You have an idea, but here let's say, let's be a bit less aggressive. Let's say I want it to be done um, in four days. So let's say approximately, okay, so the orders will be, too, oh yeah, because it's, it's too many orders. So let's say I want to do it in five days. Four days, okay, four. I prefer the, the figure four. So let's say four days. Uh, so basically like every day I will uh, automatically have a $6.25 orders done on Solana uh, to buy, to purchase Solana. And you can see here something interesting is the platform fee. So that's something the, the CEO of like Jupyter discussed about is like, I'm pretty sure they will try to figure out something to um, send back uh, money to, I would say holders or find incentives to really um, uh, have this like protocol being used by people and be also rewarding uh, users. So that's something to have in mind. Then you can see here my uh, DCA and then I can stop it, of course, or not. Then you have the bridge. Let's not enter that into details because it's a bit uh, long. And then you have something new and something I think that will be really valued a lot um, by, 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 by Jupiter for the next phase of the airdrop, which is 
um, the perpetual. So it's definitely like a perps like on like Bybit, let's say, if you don't have a Bybit account, of course, always you will find out my link in the description. Thanks for the support. Um, but it's, it's kind of like the same thing. So the idea is like, we'll be able to use leverage and, um, and basically do tr derivative trading on chain. So it's not, it's not like, um, it's not like on Bybit, it's, it's not really working the same regarding liquidity and everything. It's a bit more complex here, uh, but let's keep it that for example, for another video, but let's say I want to open a uh, $25. Uh, you see that I'm really liking the number $25 long on uh, Solana. So of course we have a low leverage. What I really like from here from Jupiter is like by default, your leverage is low. This is what you want to do. You cannot do something like that. Otherwise you will get blown so fast. So let's keep a low leverage 1.1. Uh, you already have so much leverage uh, um, on, on crypto. So I think one thing that's interesting is like here, the um, uh, your open fee. So you have a fee, 0.20%. I think it's the same than on Binance. By bit, it's a bit lower. Uh, and then you have the borrow rates. Um, that's interesting. So basically, um, I, I think I have to, to I, I don't want to, to say something wrong here, but basically you have people are providing liquidity and you use this liquidity to open your trades. And so you borrow somehow this money. And so you see that you have all this logic always the same in on-chain to bring liquidity of borrowing, lending, and everything. And so let's say I want to open so this long, so I cannot choose my um, uh, entry price, so I enter at market. So I confirm. So you see like the transaction is sent. Here it's taking a bit more time. I think it's just because it's a bit more complex in terms of uh, specificity. So, <laughs> so I just see that I already had um, a position open here, um, perhaps on the test I made yesterday. Anyway, um, so oh, you see I have a take profit uh, put on Ethereum. Let's check the position. So it's a super big position of uh, zero point of fifty dollars. <laughs> I think the same as here, and I have my take profit here. Um, so if I go back on Solana, uh, let's say I want to put my take profit here. So just hit here, so 1.2.5, 1.2.5. So I will make a profit <laughs> of $1 and then I just execute it. And then again, I have to approve the transaction on chain. Okay, so approving the transaction on chain and then my position is on. And if you want, of course, like what I'm explaining here is like kind of like basic, I would say default thing, just for you to have an idea and to be able to test things. Um, and let's say I want to close here my position on if blah, blah, blah. so you see I had some fees. I think also that's a cool, quite cool. It's like they are super transparent about the fees. And so I'm closing it now, now and I have also the unchained fee that is super, super low. So here I'm really um, explaining things for you to just have an idea and try to uh, test online. Uh, but you can do way, way, way more advanced stuff. And I'm doing advanced stuff also to farm these airdrops. One thing I could uh, explain you or show you is basically the fact that, uh, oh, we are origin profits, printing money, brr, uh, but we are something we you can make things more advanced. For example, on some wallets, I, what I'm doing is like, I'm longing uh, a position on uh, Jupiter and then I'm hedging on Drift just to generate as much volume as possible, uh, but being all, always Delta neutral. So I don't take any directional exposure on the market. I'm just here to, to farm the platforms. So doing that could be uh, profitable or not. No, you know, everything you are doing, you always have a return on investment. Uh, on some airdrops, I have really farmed quite a lot and it, it was not like a, a big win. Uh, on Jupiter, I, I didn't felt I farmed the airdrop because I was just using the app just because like during 2023, I did so many swaps uh, and it ended up having the airdrop. So always to keep in mind that this airdrop, I would say mania or whatever, it's always a bit of luck and a bit of, trying to front run what would be the next big thing or what would be the next thing. So I do think I'm convinced that in 2024, Solana ecosystem will have a bunch of airdrops, uh, Cosmos 2, perhaps some other airdrops on layer twos and everything. So you want to take the time, just do a few things. Uh, I'm not telling you to farm with like 10 wallets or whatsoever, but it's a way for sometimes to have like these lugs, kind of like lucky events and get free money. Um, and also being able to understand better the technology and everything. And I think if you had used Jupiter like last year, uh, before like the perpetual and everything, if you were like a, a Ethereum user, you would really get the, the, the feeling and get the vibe of what's going on here and you would be super bullish on Solana. Uh, that was the, one of my thing in, back in 2022, <laughs> uh, late 2022 is like when I was trying to use all the, the crypto blockchains, 
um, one thing was like super like outstanding for me was Solana because the user experience, user interface fees was so cheap, so fast that I was like, okay, I'm convinced about it. And I want to get more exposure about uh, Solana. And that's also sometimes a, a good way to do it. Um, and, um, and when you compare it to, to, to Uniswap, um, I think you get the vibe that it's, it's something big here and you want to have it and you want to follow it. Um, so we'll see after the airdrops, few weeks after the airdrops, if Jupiter, uh, because of the token economics and everything is worth having in your in, in the bag. Perhaps I will do a video about it. But always do your own research. Be super be super cautious with the with the with the security uh, of the wallets and everything. Um, and I really recommend you to come and try, especially if you are not a Solana, I would say a Maxi or a fan, and just try and have a, a do me like a, a comment about your feedback about the chain in, in comments. And uh, of course, stay safe and see you soon for uh, another video.